In the last video you might have seen me doing some test runs whilst driving with the wastegate which is now dumping uh, exhaust gas out at certain RPMs around 6000 for me or 6 psi, 7 psi um, and at the moment I've just got that valve pointing down so what I did I managed to get the flange that comes with it and I've managed to use some pie cuts and my MIG welder just to turn a bit of 44 mil pipe into a, like a rough down pipe so I'm going to attach this onto the car and it will give you a better chance to have a look at what is fitted to the test pipe and it gives me a chance just to check that everything is tight underneath there nothing's worse work loose as you can see the clamp is down there which just goes in like this then that will clamp onto the wastegate a bolt goes through there and then that will be clamped like that underneath the car so we'll get the car up in the air and we'll have a look so that took a bit longer than I thought I had to fart ass about if one of the quick jacks had not fully retracted last time I put it away which means that you'll um, struggle to get it underneath the car so I had to faff about with that but it's all done now one thing I do now is I don't know I was working on the car once and I got a bit of a bad gut feeling that I don't know that the quick jack could fail not that I'd expect it to I've never read about one of them failing I stick an axle stand underneath it on the um, tilt point just so that in theory if it did collapse like any hydraulics or the, or the um, support was to collapse then I've got something to hold it up but what I do now is get underneath the car and we'll have a look right so hopefully you can see that that's the uh, waste gate there's a vacuum line there and uh, yeah it's looking like it's fine it's not can't see any signs of anything broken you can also see I welded in a flexi pipe just to give uh, the exhaust a bit more movement and the wastegate points down so what I'm going to do is turn that um, 90 degrees and then mount the um, little short pipe I've made just to make sure that the air is forced downwards so I'll get cracking with that and get it on right so we've got all that bolted together hopefully you can see that so you've got the waste gate and the dump tube now which is probably about the same height as the actual um, rest of the exhaust system so that will just direct the exhaust gases a bit further down less chance of it melting any under seal or anything like that the only issue for me is that this now is at a bit of an angle um, probably could do with like a 90 degree fitting on here just to um, give it a better sweep so you know less chance of this rubbing on the ground I don't think it's likely to rub on the ground there's still quite a lot of clearance but as you can see there's the uh, factory exhaust going back and then if we come round there's the flexi pipe I welded in to the decap to 70mm and then I've got just reposition this then I've got the decap pipe rigidly mounted to the Tegwar manifold exhaust strap seems to be doing alright so yeah I'm quite impressed with that the uh, wastegate seems to have worked itself a bit loose that's not really the end of the world and it's easy enough to come off just to, un cut, to undo these undo that and for me undo this and just give the wastegate a smack and it'll come off so it'll be interesting to see what that little pipe does I know it's not the greatest bit of stainless pipe in the world but you know I had to do pie cuts which is the first time I've done that and really you should be TIG welding when you're doing things like that and I just used a MIG and then ground it back a bit but yeah you get an idea of what the exhaust bypass valve looks like and then you can see obviously I've got the rest of the factory exhaust so when I'm cruising around the factory exhaust is doing the silencing 
and then when I put my foot down boost pressure comes through here pushes the diaphragm on here opens up this valve which will then let basically air straight out of the exhaust gas straight out of the decap pipe so any pressure that builds here because of the factory exhaust is going to be vented some of it's going to be vented out of there it's not i wouldn't say it's as good as saying say a uh, 76 mil exhaust all the way through but it's uh, better than nothing it definitely makes a bit of a difference had to retune the car compared to when it had the standard exhaust so seems to be doing the job everything else under the car looks good you can see hopefully see the red calipers that i got powder coated ones they're still good can't see any problems with the suspension so overall yeah quite impressed thought I'd better do a video on this just to give you an idea of what I've been up to and what this bloody exhaust valve is I keep banging on about so I hope you've enjoyed it if you have make sure you like and subscribe it helps the channel it'll help help get more viewers and then uh, I should have more money to do some more project work. So yeah, thanks for watching.